Thank you, everyone. I think that speech reminds us why the Lib Dems have been consigned to history. Um, <laughs> we want to leave the... the European Union we have an unelected commission and in the renegotiation there was an opportunity to democratize it and it wasn't on the agenda it tells you all you need to know about this union it is the antithesis of what this country stands for namely parliamentary democracy and we've got to get out of it as soon as we can the common, agric the common agricultural policy which is a core tenant of the European Union, spends 40% of the budget, yet it yields 9% of the return and places an external tariff on the European U uh, Union borders, kicking the poorest in the world in the teeth because they can't access European markets. That is an internationalist. And as a Labour person <laughs> wants to leave because I want to see the poorest in the world raised out of poverty, I want us out so our aid means something yeah, instead yeah, of... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Common Fisheries Policy and a key tenant of the European Union has led to the destruction of the British fishing industry. Go around the coast of this country, the fishing fleets have gone, and we no longer have control of our waters. Instead, we're buying fish from our waters sold to us by the Spanish. What a ridiculous policy. Let's get out, restore the fishing fleets, and take back control of our waters. any nonsense that the European Union protects us from the power of multinationals. The President of the Commission, Mr Juncker, designed the tax system but benefited the multinationals for many years. And round the corner we have TTIP, the Transatlantic Trade and Investment Partnership, a trade deal between the European Commission and the United States that will open up British public services, including our national health service, to corporate power, to the power of the multinationals, and to privatisation. No one voted for that, yet it's going ahead. If we want to save our national health service and our public services, we need to leave on June the 21st. And I will encourage We've just been told if we leave, Football clubs will go to the wall. Well, Russia, Abramovich owns Chelsea, and as far as I'm aware, the pro side definitely don't want Russia in the European Union. Science funding and university funding, it's our money. So let's not tell us the European Union has no money of its own. It comes from the member states. So when we're told the European Union funds us, no, it blimmin' well doesn't. We fund ourselves, it goes to them, they hand it back and tell us how to spend it. No! That's why we're going to leave. We have, and I'm going to say it, a racist immigration policy. A policy that allows the free movement of peoples across the European Union whose predominant population is white Caucasian, yet we do not allow that same privilege to be extended to people from outside the European Union. We're saying no to Indian doctors, no to people from New Zealand with skills, no to American engineers, but we are saying yes to a pool of cheap labour that creams the finest off those Eastern European countries, damaging their own economies and bringing them here. It's unjust and it's wrong. And outside of the European Union, we will be able to control our own migration policy. And what the Remain side don't tell you is that it is a risk to stay in the European Union. We are seeing now, across the whole continent, the rise of the far right in politics. The other day in Austria, the far right nearly <laughs> took the presidency of that country. We're seeing extremes. We're seeing poverty and austerity. So when they tell us that jobs depend on our membership of the European Union, tell it to the millions of unemployed in Greece. Tell it to the 30% of young people in Spain without a job or prospects. Tell it to the businessmen in Italy who have seen their enterprises destroyed. Let's debunk the myth now. The European Union does nothing for jobs and growth. It curtails it. And that's why we want to get out in this referendum. Here, here. And across the European Union, 
We are seeing movements in every country rise up against this unelected, unaccountable, bloated and costly organisation. No one in the European Union voted for the flag, the anthem, the parliament, the commission, the courts. We voted for a trade deal and when we leave we'll be able to negotiate one. What we're getting from the other side is project fear and doom and gloom. They don't believe this country's good enough to make it on its own in the world. Of course we're good enough. We're one of the greatest countries on the face of the earth. And outside the European Union, we'll restore this country to the high place it once was as one of the leading democratic, trading and global nations of the world. Thank you.